most of the time there are two people and it's who's looking at who and what is the position and what's about to happen and there's sort of you know hopefully a tension that's built up that way. I, I'm interested in in kind of looking into this little world and telling a story. And so making it in this tiny miniature scene is sort of freezing that story. Something has just happened and something's about to happen and we are only getting that one slice in the middle. So a figure like this would be sort of an out-of-the-box figure. They're made by a, a German model train firm. They're typically people waiting for trains. So they're rarely, if ever, in the position that I want them to be in. I will um, basically remake them. How I would do that would be cut the arm off and then ultimately I would end up gluing it, positioning it. The be there's a cut here that I would need to putty. So I would putty that up and sand him and then paint him. There is a darkness in most of the works and it's um, it's sometimes quite humorous and I think that we kind of get a kick out of it because we're lording above it. But at the same time, there's this intimacy because we're looking at these little helpless creatures. So this is a piece called Something in the Absence, which is from a number of years back. There's the, the man on the outside looking in and there's a, a home down in there. You know, I, I was working with houses before I even got a home, but I think that's such a core part of being in this country is like owning a home. And what is your little castle and your little kingdom, your area? Moving out of Brooklyn and moving into a house, it's nice field research because as everywhere I'm going, I'm seeing houses and I'm seeing hoses and sprinklers and toys and playsets and all the things that are around an American house. Most of the works are, you know, in some more of a suburban environment than a city environment, and that is is chiefly because it's this myth that in looking at someone's home, you can understand who they are. These pieces are newer, in fact, they're in progress right now. It's basically a cross-section of a wall, like a piece of the house has been removed. So then there's a scene built into the wall. A lot of the inspiration for my work comes from um, military, mostly just sort of the bizarre absurdity of warfare. And a lot of the work that I've been doing recently has the sort of kind of mashup between dom domesticity and military. These things that don't typically, they don't, exist together. So it's sort of the contradiction of the two. People often ask me that question, what just happened or what's about to happen? Sometimes people are interested in what the backstory is, you know, what's going on in this house and why is this happening? And my answer is almost always that I don't know. And, and I'm not really as interested in what, what led up to this moment, but I'm really interested in letting other people figure that out.